For this session, we're at Churchwood Fisheries in Essex. Home to Churchwood Lake, Catfish Lake, and our lake for the next 48 hours, Jenkins Lake. Right, we've just arrived down here um, on Jenkins Lake, and uh, as you can see, the sun's setting over my shoulder. Um, it's, it's a tricky lake to cast, and you probably wouldn't want to really, because a lot of the really good spots um, that we've just been told about um, from the owner um, are kind of shelved under these tree lines. And uh, what we're going to do over my shoulder here, you'll see that boat going to very, very quickly row out all six rods um, and then probably set our stuff up into the night. So you probably won't hear a lot from us now until the morning. Um, it's going to be a real tricky effort getting everything out so quickly, but. Um, as long as we're fishing and we know there's half a chance of a fish, um, that'll probably do it. So, uh, better get on with it. Jay's just having a feel around on the bottom for hard gravelly spots. He's wedged the pole into the bottom as a marker as the boat can drift. What he'll do is drop the rig and some bait all on a bucket size spot. Well, there we go, just over 20 pounds, um, early morning um, after the first night and uh, my middle rod peels off, probably the one I wasn't that happy with um, and there you go, it's produced a fish, just over 20 pounds, um, first one of the session for us and uh, couldn't be happier really, lovely place, um, lovely weather, lovely carp, back of the landing net, let's get him back, result. One of the best things uh, about the venue down here at Churchwood is this lodge. Um, it's kind of right on Jenkins Lake, um, but also easy access from the Catfish Lake uh, and also Churchwood Lake itself. And uh, the facilities in here are fantastic. There's, there's a nice big spacious heated area here um, where there's cooking facilities. Um, there's a nice clean shower a nice toilet, it's just a nice place to be. Um, lots of takeaway menus in there, pictures of some of the real nice carp. And uh, to have this right next to uh, where we're fishing is, is just something else. Another good thing about Churchwood Fisheries is that they provide nets, cradles, and slings, all for, all for safety and convenience, really. Um, they require that you use theirs on their fishery. Um, 
So it works, works both ways. It saves you bringing your own and, and getting that wet. And let's be fair, it's the stinkiest part of the way home, isn't it, in the car, so win-win. Right, really good news. Um, just before two o'clock in the afternoon, um, I've just been out on the boat and uh, saw quite a few fish at the back margins there, so I said to old Charlie, we're definitely where the car park, definitely on spots by the car park. Get back off the boat, five minutes later, slow burner of a run and uh, Charlie's into a fish. Well, there you go, finally got one on the bank, not even halfway through the session yet, so plenty of time for more, but so, so chuffed to have this one on the bank. Um, certainly not the biggest fish in the world, but who's complaining, let's be honest, when they, when they look like this, um, especially from a lake like this, you can't get any better than that. Back of the land in that. Right, so I've just come back from uh looking at one of the other lakes here on the, the complex and uh, I see Jay out on the boat not only that, he's actually sat on my chair that he's put on there I think he's getting a little bit too comfortable we just thought we'd show you Churchwood Lake it's absolutely stunning with probably the best presented swims I've ever seen There's also some amazing carp in here as well. Definitely worth a look. Whoa! Charlie's into a fish and uh, he's put up quite a scrap. It's a bit of a result really. Working hard now just to get him around the corner. There's a little bay around there. And it's quite hard to see what's what's happening, but doing well to work him around. Come on. Well, there we go. Second fish out of Jenkins Lake, Churchwood Fisheries. Absolutely cracking. Fat, stocky looking mirror. So, so chuffed, just as chuffed as the first one. Um, we were saying it was looking like it was going to happen tonight, and it certainly has. And we're plenty of time still to get another. Jay's turn next. Back of landing there. Yeah, so it's first thing in the morning now. Um, quick update for you. Um, middle of the night, about three o'clock, half three in the morning, um, Charlie's uh, left rod peeled off, unfortunately into snags. Um, I went out there uh, on the boat, but could only retrieve the rig, uh, the fish had gone. And uh, same thing this morning, really. Um, half eight, nine o'clock this morning. Um, again, um, his right rod peels off. It kind of cuts to a tree to the left. It felt like quite a powerhouse, he's saying and uh, unfortunately got snagged up in some tree roots. Um, so again, went out on the boat, um, had a route about, um, this time the, the line broke, um, but I managed to actually lift the route out and get the, get the rig back. So been a bit unlucky really, Charlie has overnight and this morning, but um, to have two fish on the bank and uh, to have those two obviously missed fish there, it's obviously produced them down that end of the lake. So hopefully, um, just during the day today we'll get something else and uh, been a bit quiet on my side but I'm, I know they're on a pretty decent spot so always hopeful that something's going to happen here as well so you know we're happy um, got a day ahead of us and uh, let's hope we can get another fish
Right, um, we're just having a bit of a debate here on the bank really, um, and it's given us a bit of an idea for a competition. Um, this rod here, um, the bobbin's kind of being up and down, nothing for five minutes, then up, just when you're about to hit it, down again. Um, and it's been going on for a few minutes now. So, just wondered what everyone's kind of strategy is with that. When do you actually hit it? When, when do you think the fish is on there? You know, as soon as you get into movement up, strike. Do you want to see a bend in the rod? Some people want to see line being taken. Um, so just in the comments box on YouTube, just let us know when you would hit um, an, an opportunity. And uh, what we'll do is we'll sort out 30 quid's worth of tackle um, and get that in the post to a, a winner at random. But just kind of waiting for it to really, I, I like to see the bobbin hit the top line peel and the rod bending round, but sometimes, as we know, some of these wily carp can kind of sit there hooked for quite a while. So give us your thoughts and we'll, we'll pick a winner. Right, there you go. Not long till the end of the session. Um, I'm going to pull out a, a lovely looking tench. Um, not the biggest tench in the world, but you, 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 you've got to be happy with that, to be fair. Um, just off a spot that, you know, I've pretty much left out for the duration. Um, nice little drop back bite and there you go, back of landing there. Right, one important thing to remember when you're out for a long session. Four words. Links, dry, dark, temptation. Yeah? I don't want to be smelling your armpits on the bank, do I? Yeah? Freshen up, yeah? <laughs>